This is Ben Rubenstein with CenterStageChicago.com. We're here in Bobby Khan's home. I'm going to talk to him about his new album, King for a Day. Contact me. And I did it, and then I've... Thank you. To you party with Bobby Khan, I mean, this this is an unexpected delight. <laughs> I've been a tea drinker for about uh, 25 years now. Yeah. This is a mint mint tea. Hello? How's that turning out? The, <laughs> the tea. This is Alex. He's, he's um, we kind of have two two camps in the band right now. And they're friendly camps, but they are different camps. We have the sort of, uh, the, um, uh, I don't know, um, neo-Christian, I guess, that they're sort of hmm. the death holes, you know? They come yeah, the death yeah. Holes. And then uh, the other camp is Alex and Sled, who represent more the sort of, like, satanic. And that doesn't clash? No, no. The Pope said this just recently. The world is being divided into two camps, the believers and the unbelievers. Okay, so as long as you believe in something, it, that's uh, the key. Okay. That's the key. So now I had heard that that sort of you were sort of shifting gears with your with your new stuff, not as much with the glass gypsies, sort of a different different direction. Is it's just that... a bigger group. Alex here provides um, a slide base. Yes, yeah, it works out. <laughs> That's a flavor you're not going to get from uh, from just having one bass player. Right. So, so what 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 can you tell us about the new album? Is it as political as no? As it's much less know. political. I think it's political, but in just sort of a like a contemporary culture kind of way. Two of the songs are about Tom Cruise. That's sort of scary. It is, because <laughs> Tom Cruise exists in this Tom Cruise-lined bubble. It's a, it's a sphere that's completely um, lined with Tom Cruise. Have you ever heard Tom Cruise express an opinion about something that doesn't relate to Tom Cruise? Generally about Tom Cruise or people. Or Scientology, right? Right, but that, that religion is mainly is based, a, is an based on, religion it's based on yeah. Tom Cruise. Sure. Are you, you're pretty popular outside of America, is that, is that true? More, I mean, more or less so than I'm equally in the unpopular States? wherever All right, I go. Okay. It's a level of unpopularity that allows me to go to many places to be. <laughs> to be not liked at all those places. <laughs> the big fan site that you guys have is a, is a UK site. Yeah. Yeah. I've been very lucky in, in England. I don't know that I have more fans in England. I have more people that seem to be on my wavelength. You know, it's a complete mystery why anyone would be interested in the music that I make. Why, why, is, that, why is that so mysterious to you? Um, uh, because it, oh, fuck, God, it just ruins everything, doesn't it? <laughs> and I was just about to give an amazing critical assessment. Yeah, it felt work. like it. It was, yeah, it was an epiphany. Right I should show you guys this video that, um, we made for, uh, one of the songs off the new record. Oh, it's yeah? It's called King for a Day. Did you know that? I did know that. Okay. The video is, uh, Kind of, um, there's two versions of it. One captures the emotion of King for a Day, which is melancholy and depressing, you'd say. I'd say. Yeah. And then the other, the other uh, video is, what's the feeling that, that makes, you just saw it for the first time tonight. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> the second cut could be like one of the more important films made this 
here. Here. <laughs> and it'll be one of those things where they realize it when he's gone, too. Yeah. You know? They might realize a lot of things when he's gone. I don't know. Mm. But that's... They definitely will. <laughs> they definitely know I'm gone. What's your funeral going to be like? Uh, I'm gonna have us. I'm gonna be drawn by a donkey cart in my coffin, open casket, and I want there to be a parade with flowers. I want there to be a uh, a guy playing the national anthem um, on a little float. Yeah, I want to be buried under like a big oak tree, you know, out in the, like on a the crest of a hill, corn fields, and that's a hill crest, and then. The donkey cart will come up, wind up the hill with the guy playing. <laughs> playing that. Mark could do it. And he would hate it though. Yeah, I just, uh, I want it to be like kind of a, just a big party. So you're going to ask me about the music I'm listening yeah, to? Yeah, what are you All listening right. to now? Here's some good stuff that Annual Morchoni uh, compilation that came out, that Ipecac put out last year. Ennio Morricone, he did all those um, Italian movie soundtracks. He did the Clint Eastwood movie. Ooh, no. wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but he's done hundreds of soundtracks and he's a brilliant like psychedelic jazz musician and arranger. His record is awesome. I've been listening to that a lot. I've been listening to um, the new Death Holes mm -hmm. record, Cast Out Devil. It's really good. Also, I, it's I really good. Myself. Yep. Uh, and then, uh, what else am I listening to? Jean-Claude Vanier record from the turn of the 70s called the Crushed, the, is it the Mystery of the Crushed Fly? <laughs> <laughs> that sound, that's a good stretch. album title. <laughs> Absolutely. The Mystery of the Crushed Fly. I've been listening to a lot of uh, Power 92 Really? Yeah. That's the radio station that I think the people are having the most fun on. I always get the feeling there's that there's a lot like, of laughter that goes there's on. There's like eight guys, or, you know, not always guys, but eight people in there, like in the booth always. And they're just, just kind of hanging out. And you yeah. don't hear that in commercial radio, and you usually never hear it in like indie radio. Yeah, so we have some <laughs> Galaxy 500 tickets available <laughs> for the fifth caller. Do you go to a lot of concerts or anything? Is that something you do? I see, well, the ones that I'm at. Or just the yeah. ones that you're at, <laughs> pretty much? I used to go to, a, I mean, it's sad, really. You know, I live, we were gonna film across the street at mm -hmm. Reversible Eye, and they have these crazy shows all the time. And most of the time during that crazy show, I'm upstairs in my bed um, reading a magazine. I'm like, ah, I could go over there. Ah, they sound really cool, but I... That's, so I, I'm, get, I'm sensing a little bit you need the convenience to know, go across the street, do a show, that, you know, right. that's good. Yeah, <laughs> ideally, I want to start, that's where we're building, this is going to be a club. Hot, hot sure. mint tea, and hot jams. Mm. That's going to be beautiful. Keep that, then. Yeah, you're let's done. stand. Drink more tea. Jesus. Vote in the municipal elections, that's... Hey, how about that? <laughs> well... Thank you. If Jesus was Bye. Bye. There you go.